Hey guys, in this video, I recently printed a grip for my Nintendo Game Boy Advance. It's very similar to the one that I uh, printed for my DS Lite. And once again, I had to modify it slightly in terms of uh, resizing it or scaling it to fit the Game Boy Advance. But it is essentially just the same grip, but uh, slightly modified. So I found that someone had designed a grip for the Nintendo 3DS on Thingiverse. I'll leave a link to the original designer's Thingiverse page. Since the Game Boy Advance is significantly thicker than the DS Lite or the 3DS, I had to resize the x-axis by about 112 and I had to make it thicker by modifying the z-axis by 185%. And this was for the top piece. And for the bottom piece, I only needed to stretch the x-axis by about 112 to match the top piece. I printed it out on my DaVinci 1.0 with uh, ABS filament at 0.4 layer height and it took about three hours to print both pieces. They actually came out pretty good. If you want a smoother finish, print it at a higher quality like 0.1 layer height. I might do that for the next print since this was more of a test. The next thing I had to do was glue the two pieces together. I used JB Weld, which is a really strong epoxy, but you can use super glue, crazy glue, or acetone to fuse them together. Mix equal parts from the JB Weld uh, to create a gray paste and then spread it evenly on the top piece. Then I sandwiched the two pieces together and used some elastics to hold it in place while it dries. I glued the two small extra pieces that will help grip onto the, um, the actual handle in place by using some acetone. Acetone melts ABS and it fuses it pretty good together. So for small pieces like this, I like to use acetone. After the two pieces are glued together and dried, you can sand it and maybe paint it to hide the 3D uh, printed layers. I like the rough 3D look since it provides more grip, so I'll probably keep it this way. Another thing I added were a couple of felt pads on either sides. This way it would grip the uh, Game Boy Advance a lot better. And they're basically just uh, the ones I found at dollar stores and basically it just slides in and it was pretty snug and in order for you to access the the on off switch and the volume you do have to basically take it out of the grip slide it out a bit and then you can access it that way but other than that I don't really find it to be a problem I like this grip a lot compared to the Intech one that I bought recently so I'm planning on using this one instead anyways that's it for this video I'll leave links to the STL file from the original author in the description. Until next time, comment, like, share, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.